Susie Swanson is a girl, a little bit of a nerd, in middle school, trying to get away with the grief that her friend dies. Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have this awesome, epic book for you guys today, The Thing About Jellyfish by Ali Benjamin. Well, let's get right on to it. So this book is about Susie Swanson, as aforementioned, and she is a little bit of a nerd. And basically, she had this friend named Franny, who she kind of broke up with. They were like best friends forever when they were like in fifth grade. But then Franny started to think about what the other popular girls thought about. And basically what happened, Franny just left our dear Susie to go all around alone with no friends at lunch. And basically, Susie was betrayed. Our dear, kind of slightly evil Franny joined Aubrey and the gang of popular pretty girls. And basically, they hate Susie. Susie doesn't like them, and so on. And after they broke up, well, not like in a relationship broke up, but like broke up as friends, they like left each other. Franny basically just died <laughs> in an ocean, and people thought it was a riptide or something, but our dear Franny, I mean, Susie, Jesus Christ, she, after discovering her obsession with jellyfish, decided that Franny must have died from jellyfish. Because Franny had been swimming in the beach, a beach where jellyfish were often found, and then Franny was such a great swimmer, but she had died in the ocean. What could that be? Only a jellyfish could have been it. Or that's what Susie Swanson thought. And meanwhile, Susie hasn't talked to legitimately anyone since her fr friend Franny's death, which is... Wow, I mean, I probably couldn't stand a single hour with not talking unless I'm reading a book or watching a movie or something. Even then, it will be painful. And, yeah, it's just... Wow. And that's just, like, I don't know. Girls are ununderstandable. Anyway, Susie Swanson, Susie, she basically grows this invention about jellyfish, and she really studies about them, and she really goes deep into it. And meanwhile, Mrs. Turton, I believe, wants her to do a science report at the end of, end of the year, and she has to do that, and she has to speak, and she hasn't spoken in a couple months, and she prepares the jellyfish thing, she prepares the, you know, she prepares the stuff, and she makes her speech, but she tries to tell everyone that her friend Franny probably died from jellyfish, but no one understands. And she thinks that this jellyfish expert named Jamie, who lives in Australia, will understand everything and will make everything better, so she decides to run away to Australia. Ding dong ding dong. Wow, such courage for something that she can't really control. So basically, she tries to go to Australia alone without an adult or a guardian, but she doesn't know that if she's in her country, like, as in the US, and she takes a plane, that's allowed. Like, even though she's a minor, she doesn't need a guardian. But, for an international flight, that's not the case. You have to have a guardian with you. She didn't know that. She didn't do the research as far as that. So she was captured, and she was brought back to her parents. And Susie was just super duper, like, sad and everything. And then she goes to the school dance that she didn't really want to go to. And basically, it's like a really basic realistic fiction like her parents are divorced number one number two someone in her someone that she really cares about dies and she has a little bit of a question no one in school likes her you know the whole bunch usually it's just one of those but she got that quadruple problem which is just impressive <laughs> well and sad kind of yeah and Susie Swanson, it's basically about her just growing up just like moving on and her making some new friends at school. Basically, all her problems are being solved in one way or another. And yeah, it's about growing up, it's about moving on. It's just one of those really basic realistic fictions that are super moving. They almost want to make you cry. Of course, not not in my case. I never cry. I don't think I ever cried reading a book or uh, watching a movie. But, you know, that's me. It might not be you. And yeah, I don't really have too much more to say about this book. Mostly because, well, first off, it is a very basic realistic fiction. It does have some really interesting scientific facts in it, which I'm sure is, well, just super well researched. And there's a couple historical like facts about like the 50-year-old woman who made 
swam across the Atlantic or the Pacific or some ocean. She swam over an ocean from one coast to another at 50 years old on her like fifth try or something. That's some historical facts within the book that I found really, really interesting. And yeah, I'm just really talking about talking like a matter of fact because it is a matter of fact. So it's about Susie Swanson, about basically about girls um, totally just bullying each other and then her just ignoring those girls, making some new friends, doing great stuff at school, growing up, moving on from death and grief, and that's pretty much it. Well, there are basically like 200 different books that are like that in here, like um, Shouting at the Rain, I mean, Wonder is about bullying, Shouting at the Rain is, well, yeah, about bullying, Wonderland is about, I uh, don't remember, my, um, yeah, I think it's about the dog, and then Counting by Seven, Hello Universe, to Made to Stake, and Saturn Back and Then, not these, not these, I mean, there are historical fictions here, and there's, yeah, I mean, Night Diary, anyway, it's just a big, sad, realistical fiction, um, obviously, I do enjoy fantasy more, but it is a pretty good book, and if you're feeling, like, bullied or you feel harassed or something from kids at school, read this book. She has much worse than you. Don't complain. Just deal with it because she managed to deal with it, deal with the divorce of her parents, the death of her friend, and the bullying at school. Okay. And like always, your book quester and the book quester. I know there isn't much meat about the story because it is quite simple, but it is a tearjerker, very slightly, and yeah, it is a great book.